you pull it out. That's when you know it's good for perfection. My name is Nguyen Nguyen. I love to cook. I'm a mom of two and I like to try new things. We're pretty much the uh, crawfish capital of the world. In um, New Orleans, just in the state of Louisiana, during crawfish season, I mean, every week it's a crawfish festival. So I get everyone together and then uh, appreciate <laughs> love for food, for love for crawfish. <laughs> She left when I was pretty young, about um, eight, eight or nine years old. Most of the time it's just me, my dad, and uh, my two brothers. So we'll, we'll just um, hit everything together. <laughs> she has a really rough background, um, but uh, I believe that's what makes her who she is today. When you try to do something different, it's, it can really take uh, the wrong way to a lot of people, especially um, when it comes to crawfish. It brings people together in this city. Uh, some things, it just hits them in the soul. So when you're taking something that's been done for years and try to put a little spin to it, um, people kind of really take it the wrong way at times, uh, at first, let's just say. Yeah, at first nobody liked it. We use extremely, extremely lot of garlic. We like to buy our garlic fresh. We grind it ourselves. It's just a part of our culture. We cook with extremely lot of garlic. I don't, can't even recall a dish of Vietnamese culture that does not use garlic and spice. Everything has to have some of a kick or else you'd be out of business. So, you know, rule of thumb is we don't adjust to anybody's uh, level of spice. You just gotta adjust to ours. Do I have the right shirt on? It ain't gonna suck itself. <laughs> we pretty much grew up together in the same house. Pretty much crawfish was our livelihood over there every summer. Uh, me, my cousin, her older brothers, of course my uncle, uh, which is uh, News Dad, usually takes us out to the rice field and we will catch them. Uh, we would caught so much of them, we would fill the bed up with crawfish, I mean, it would be no place for us to even sit in the truck. We love crawfish. I mean, before, we didn't have to boil. So we would just throw whatever we could in our house, like <laughs> lemongrass or, what is it, uh, lime leaves, butter, whatever you can, <laughs> whatever it thought of, we just throw it in and uh, we'll stir fry it up. When the Vietnamese land in New Orleans, um, they kind of made it feel at home because one is the weather, uh, they were right next to the water, um, the shrimps. So a lot of them, of course, was fishermen. She is um, the mastermind of uh, the whole kitchen. She's someone that really cooks with a passion and she taught me how to do it. Everything I know now is from her. That's the show we need to be on one day. <laughs> oh, where? Worst cooks? Well, not the worst cooks, it's um, uh, guys. Diner, diamond. Yeah. They're trying it and they're loving it. Some people love it, some people hate it, but there's a mixture crowd now. But now um, they, they're getting appreciative of different, I mean, different cultures kick, kicking in. Everyone's trying to get a piece of it now. It's getting, uh, uh, it's getting popular. You know, <laughs> you love everybody. it's a twist. <laughs> yeah. It's a little twist of uh, what we do. Bye. 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 I love you too, sweetheart. Most of the um, seafood industry that um, that's into the seafood industry, like me, most of it's male chef or male dominant. It was very different. I'm uh, very different for them as well too. But crawfish get everyone together. I mean, not just family-wise, friends, and everyone have a good time. Never disappointed nobody with crawfish. <laughs>